Hi, it's me again with Corrode All Tips and Tricks, and here's a little neat 3D looking graphic that anybody can do, and you don't have to do any particular size. I'm just gonna take an ellipse and hit P, put it in the center of the page. I'm gonna take the polygon tool, I'm gonna make it a six-sided polygon, and I'm gonna make it about that size. I'm gonna hit P, and then I'm gonna change it to a three-sided polygon. That way it's in the middle. I'm gonna go up to Windows, Dockers, and Corners, and I'm gonna put it about 0.57 radius corners. Then I'm gonna take my three point curb line and I'm gonna go from that node right there to just anywhere out in the picture and then try to get it kind of on that line. We did pretty good. You actually wanna make sure that this line is past here so it will not leak when we rotate it. Then Control-D and make a duplicate, double click on your rotation and put it in the center. Rotate it 120 degrees, Control-D. Take your, you can, I always take my Smart Fill tool and fill that in. It doesn't really matter. You can use the Interactive Fill tool right off the bat. But then I take the Interactive Fill tool. That way I start off with red. You want this section to be darker than the other section. So we're gonna use a yellow in this section. And the reason that line does not matter is that we are not gonna use the lines anyway. So now we have this, we're gonna control D and make a duplicate, double click on the rotation and move it to the center. It doesn't look like it is, but it is. Rotate it 120 degrees. See, I must have been just off the center. Control D and make a duplicate. It's kind of, there's a lot of going on here. There we go. Rotate it 120 degrees, Control D, and 240 degrees. Most of the time it'll do it automatically. Then right click, no outline, and you have that item. Now you can, you know, you can change the coloration. And one thing that's kind of neat about this, if we take that, I'm gonna make sure there's just one copy, there's not. And we're gonna go up to edit and we're gonna clone that. And then I'm gonna put the center rotation in the center. And I'm gonna rotate it 120 degrees, control D. And what's gonna happen, those are both clones. So we can look at it in real time if we take the interactive field tool and adjust our clone. Look what it did to the other examples. You can kind of see in real time how it's gonna look, you know, more or less. You know, you can move your slide bar, just have a little bit of yellow, just a little bit of red, and you could play with, you know, you could still move colors around. That doesn't look too bad, but it's too dark. Probably go here. I didn't hit the square. So I'm doing it to the clone and then it's doing all the other ones. That doesn't look very good, but if we put a blue, that's pretty impressive. Now, don't forget to right click your mouse and get away with your lines. It just looks like it's kind of folding on itself. Hope that helped, thank you for watching.